Ah, uh, the good old Hello, hello Choose. Needs so much help on Defect. Defect's a tough character. Wouldn't mind doing a for fun Defect run at some point. I'm actually look, really looking forward uh, to some Against the Storm later today. We last night on our stream, we finished all of the settlements prior to the Ancient Seals. Now we just have to break the seal when we get to our Against the Storm today. We should be able to unlock the Permadeath mode, the Queen's Hand mode. Look at all these elites with no uh, fire, by the way. The move a card, max health, transform two, or boss swap, huh? Hmm. This smells like a boss swap to me. For a myriad of reasons. How do I like Sea of Stars? I'm enjoying it. Uh, we haven't finished it yet. It's, it's delightfully charming and... Um, really lovingly done. Really a game with some aspects to it that I find unenjoyable. There's parts of the combat that really bore me. But overall, uh, it's a really delightful time. Nitrous Oxide says, I've never been able to put a finger on why Defect is much, much harder than the other characters. I've continually held that Defect has a much higher skill cap than the other characters. Um, I'd argue probably even ten times higher than the other characters, to the, the point where it would take, you know, thousands of hours of investment to truly master one of the characters in Spire, but tens of thousands of hours for the Defect. Because there are simply, because of the cards that the Defect has and the orb mechanic fundamentally, there are so many more orders of play that you can take. Uh, and that means that you're facing a much larger problem computationally when it comes to uh, trying to optimize your gameplay on that character. Mr. Gregor says, once Baylor said to use orbs for either damage or block and use cards for the other, everything really clicked. I think that is still a nice way of thinking about it. The, the orb slots are powerful, but they are a limited resource. You can't do everything through your orbs. And there's lots of other ways to achieve the necessary effects as defects. Part of like having a natural sword boomerang. What do you call a miserable factory? A saddest factory. Oof. I think I am going to do a boss swap here reason I like a boss swap is partially because there's a way to avoid elites basically entirely, but there's also lots of elites up front, and if we get something nice and strong, we might be able to chop our way through several elites, potentially including the Burning Elite. Let's see what we get here. We get a Sneko Eye. That uh, certainly has the potential to qualify as nice and strong. I feel like we're three for three on Sneko swaps, are we not? As we go in fireworks, we are definitely breaking the Adamantine seal later today. Quinto Bean with the 40 bits getting in there on the hype trade. A particularly random boss swap. I think we start here, here. I may wish to go red. Seems kind of unlikely. Let's mark this just in case, though. If we can get onto the red path, I'm not sure what that would take, but if it's possible, that'd be great. Green path will head through the shop. Don't fight the first elite, but we can probably do something like this. Lots of card rewards are good for Sneko. I actually don't love these early events, but I'll take them. Because I want the possibility of something going really well here. So let's see what happens to us in the Jawworm fight. Do Bash Strike, Defend. Probably better to Defend, Defend Strike. I think so. We don't get six hit points per fight, so hit points are going to be a valuable resource to conserve where possible. Ooh, look at those zero cost attacks. Beautiful. Although not quite a kill, huh? So I do have to take seven here. Guess we should have bashed on turn one. It's okay. It's only a two hit point punish. real question is, do we find a good card here? A potion, a good attack potion, um, is definitely enough to start thinking about going red, and a two energy attack 
in Carnage here, I think, is enough power that we can now go Red Path if we wish to. That was a good enough high roll on the rewards there. In fact, maybe we want to go this way for the extra potion chance and card reward. Kind of like that. How's it going, Han ha Hanukkah Herschel? What a name, what a player. Welcome, welcome. Yes, you just came in time for a Sneko swap, and we're about to transform a strike into a bludgeon. Into a headbutt. That's not bad. Put a card from the discard pile on top of the draw pile. Better than a strike. Means we're even better for Red Path. So yes, I'm going to commit to Red Path. Um, we can also go this way, right? After the first elite, we can just do rest sites and a shop. Although we miss out on the burning elite. But either way, we should fight this elite. Not this one, this one. So yes, let's go this path. This is a good start. Very good start. Can't do bash plus carnage, how sad. It's 15. So we cannot kill it from the looks of things. Oh well. Pick two is fine, I suppose. Get 20 bucks and a perfected strike. It's pretty hard. We did lose one strike, so it's not that good. But it's still a two cost attack that gets its cost randomized, which makes it pretty good with the Snekawai. What is the Ironclad's favorite concert venue? Carnegie Hall. So why the Red Path and not go even more left here to, to get one extra encounter? And the answer is because we want the option of branching onto this green path here. Um, whereas if we if we go far left, we're committed. We don't have that option to go to this shop. Pummel Strike's also not terrible here, but I'm going to take the Perfected Strike. It's still strong enough here at 16 damage currently. I'm also going to take a spot weakness. A way to gain permanent strength if the enemy's attacking. It's a bit of a conditional card, but I think those work a little bit better in general with Sneko Eye because you have larger hands on average. So yeah, let's take an event here and see what we get. It's the Golden Idol. I will take 7 max health to acquire the Golden Idol, which gives us 25% more gold, and that definitely makes me want to go to the shop, I think because we get 25% more gold from each of these elites. So three elites is basically worth four elites. And that should be more than enough to buy a decent relic at the shop. Although we'll see how the fights go first. Pretty thrilled with turn one spot weakness in this fight. I think I'll defend one time and play a bash. So we can expect to kill the front sentry next turn, probably. If our draws are good enough, we might be able to preserve the attack potion through this fight for the next elite. And it depends on what things cost here. That's pretty good. We got one cost carnage and zero cost headbutt. And I can play two defends, so that's basically perfect here. We will kill this fool. We will headbutt the carnage. I will defend two times, although dealing 19 instead of blocking 5 is tempting. And then, in general, the days don't affect us that much because we draw 7 cards per turn instead of 5. And yes, we did get punished for not playing the attack last turn. Oh well. So it goes. Overall, we didn't lose that much health, and we kept the potion, so I'm quite happy with this outcome. Oh! So that, that time again already, we get a dead branch. Same as uh, last run, actually. Uh, a very early dead branch means a very silly run is about to ensue. 
And you know what is excellent with both the Dead Branch and the Snekawai is Seversoul. Exhaust all non-attack cards in our hand, turn them into random new cards, and deal 16 damage for 2 energy. I actually quite like it. It's always silly o'clock somewhere in the Spire. The day that's here. Do I still want to go to a shop? Shop could have corruption. I'm not really going to be afraid of an Act 2 or 3 Burning Elite, am I? No way. Let's go to the shop. Guess I'm going to upgrade Carnage? This is almost a bash upgrade. Almost. And yeah, it's impo important to note that the new cards do not have random costs. Which can be a good thing or a bad thing, depending. I'm going to wake you up now. Seemed like too good of a turn one to ignore. We get a demon form. Couldn't have woken it up. Oh dear. What a hot mess. Will I use the attack potion now? I think so. Looking for a way to get vulnerable. Which is what we do get. Never soul, go! I've got a shrug. Shrug into headbutt. So that works okay. That worked out. Not unhappy with that fight. Regal pillows, nice and comforting. If we choose to rest, we can get 15 more health out of it. That's probably not a bad idea to do in general with Dead Branch Nekoi. Um, I'm just going to keep taking these. Why not? They seem good. Perfector Strike. Take an early Omamori, negate our next two curses. That could make taking a curse key pretty good, or could give us 999 gold a lot later, potentially. I think Gremlin Knob is already dead. Yep. Dead on turn one. This is Nekoi. Get some money. A self-forming clay. If we lose health, gain block on the next turn. Could take another Carnage. Whirlwind's actually pretty good. Or True Grit looks really good because it's a skill that exhausts a card with Dead Branch. Let's take True Grit. It's not my favorite block card with Snekoi, but it will do just fine. Strange Spoon is pretty funny here. I wouldn't call it good, but funny. Cards that exhaust when played instead discard half the time. If they discard, then the dead branch doesn't do the thing. I do very much like the Lantern. One additional energy on turn one. You always draw a large hand of cards on turn one with Snekoi, so having more energy to spend is always valuable. <laughs> Crank remove seems kind of weak. Could remove a defend, I guess. How does Metamorphosis interact with Sneko? The bad way, unfortunately. The costs do the cards do not cost zero. Debating whether we remove a card here or not. Seems kind of hard to lose to Slime Boss currently. Nice insurance policy, though. So I can do reckless things in Act 2. I also get to do this path, then. You know what? I like it. Spend all that money on frivolousness. I'm going to upgrade True Grit. Nerd nerd. Man. Nerd man. Of course, then we find an entropic brew immediately. That makes sense. Classic fairy entropic brew combo. Maybe I just leave the entropic brew on the ground. Because these potions are good for slime boss. 
Bird Nerdman, attorney at law. Attorney at claw. I guess I just leave that on the ground. Okay, and because we have the fairy, we get to click here. I wouldn't be allowed to click without the fairy. Click. Ow. 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 Got it. All right. We have four hit points and a bronze scales. Let's fight the slime boss. With an upgraded perfected strike. Let's do it. Snekoi trade again? Yes. I don't choose what it gives me, okay? I just click the button. I am merely a disciple of the clicky clicky. And Dead Branch again, by the way. Because <laughs> this Nekoi wasn't enough. Uh, minus 9 is 76, the magic number. No, I can't math. 78. Close to the magic number. Guard Llama, thanks for the prime sub. Welcome. Scoozy Sub Club. Didn't even need the fairy. Oh, wait. I should have headbutted last turn. Wow, that's a quite a draw. Hold on, hold on. May yet be a salvation without the potion. Ah. Alright, we'll use the potion. Got a new one anyway, a regen potion. We also get a tons of money. And the man is here. We could also take a Reaper with our strength gain. That ain't too bad. I think I'd rather just take it impervious, though. Distressingly, no corruption for sale. Or for a pick here. As that would clearly be the best option. But yeah, I'll take an impervious. Quite happy with that. Why do we even let him try to math? Great question. Um... The, my, the answer is Pandora's box. Wait, what was the question? Bah, no corruption. Just barricade juggernaut double flame barrier. Ugh. How unfortunate. No, these are amazing. We're going to destroy everything now. Yeah, rip perfected strikes, whatever. <laughs> they can suck it. Can have a bad time for all I care. Let's do something fun. Is that fun enough? What do you got, buddy? Hmm. Let's try this again. Not too bad. Shrug here. And then Carnage and Body Slam actually do the same amount of damage, so I'm going to play Body Slam. Let Carnage exhaust here. And let's drink this. See how much health I can get. Warcry is really good with Snekoi. If it costs zero, anyway. If it doesn't cost zero, then it's not very good. Bonk. We're taking 14 back. Don't want to do too much damage here. Nice try, nerd. I'm the man. The man with a plan. The man with a regen potion.
here. We do get a new potion, the Liquid Bronze. And I'm probably going to pick Sentinel here, which gives additional energy if exhausted. We can exhaust it with True Grit or Sever Soul or Second Wind. So I think we can exhaust it a lot of the time to get bonus energy. Shelly Pemba with the eight months of support. Thank you, thank you. But yeah, give me days. See if I care. Oof, what a bad hand one, though. So I just play Bash? I guess so. It's a sad turn one. But then... I'm gonna headbutt Impervious, just in case. Barricade, Impervious. Actually, Juggernaut, Impervious. Even better. Not going to take a searing blow this late into the run. Ideal potato with a prime sub as well. So many subs today. Y'all too, too, too kind. Uh-oh, it's these two. And they angie already. Hmm. Interesting. Quite enough damage. So I believe the Mystic will buff Strength this turn. It's almost a kill. Now we should be able to kill the Centurion this turn because it doesn't get any health back here. Well, that might be predicated on. No, on nothing. Get him. Excellent fight. Gain maximum money. We're offered a strength card, but I don't know if I want an inflame. It's a little bit on the weak side here. We'd rather have a demon form or maybe another spot weakness that could be used with corruption. No, Rich Chat, thanks for converting from a prime sub to a tier one sub. No love for Infernal Blade with Sneko Eye, either. It's true that it works with Dead Branch, though. Uh, there is some use there, actually, but I don't think so. Hello, pay up to pass. Simply give us all your money, they say. How about I fight you instead, you stinky gang members? How about that? Oof, that is not the turn one draw we wanted, though. I guess I'll play Sever Soul, get back two energy from Sentinel, still have three energy. Probably want to kill Pointy first with this draw. I guess I don't mind losing four dexterity if I'm going to draw Impervious. It's still 26 block. Oh. Well, I guess that makes my life a little bit easier. Convenient. I'm so Cody with 22 months and hired. Thanks for the prime sub in the seven months. Happy holidays to you. Happy holidays. Bear no. Pointy no. Just 
Sure, I'll be vulnerable. See what happens. You will pay for this, he says. Getting obliterated. Thanks for the money, hee hee. Thanks for the uppercut. That's a great attack card to add. Adds weak and vuln, something we don't have a lot of. Pretty good upgrade, too. Strength pot over the thorns pot. I actually really like this thorns pot. I keep the thorns pot for Book of Stabbing, specifically. Makes the most satisfying noise when you get bonked. Villaresa with the prime sub in 29 months. A lot of months. Any golden idlers? Do we want to heal five every time we get money? Sometimes it's actually correct to keep the golden idol. In fact, we could just use an Omomori charge and keep the golden idol. Keep getting 25% more money. But I think that five heal per gold is going to be pretty sweet, actually. We don't really have any way to heal currently. So, offer golden idol. Bleeding never ceases. Since I have Barricade, I'm going to upgrade the Impervious. It becomes a really good duplication now, too. Ten more block. I'm going to kill you now. Deleted. the armor is passable. I wouldn't call it great here. Game of Ancient, thanks for the nine months of support. Thank you, thank you. Don't want a bloodletting because it's random cost. But I do want this upgraded. Pathetic Strike. Do temporary cards added by the dead branch improve the damage of the perfected strike? Yes, they do. Would I take a corruption if offered? Absolutely. Oh yeah. 100%. Wouldn't be a very difficult choice. Nurk it. Thanks for 28 months of support. We don't need shrugs here. Good work, spot weakness. Really good work. Turn one against the slavers here. So that perfected strike increased the damage of this perfected strike, for example. Did, did in fact get better. Spicy. We get the Maw Bank, giving us money every floor. Oh, it's been a while since I had this combo. We get money every floor, and whenever we gain gold, we heal. So we heal every floor now. Makes offering kind of tempting. Sure. Welcome, I guess. We have burning blood at home. <laughs> That's right. Except it works in the event rooms and the shop room. Wait. Uh-oh. Hmm. I see. Hard countered by Brimstone, huh?
Brimstone's pretty spicy. I like Brimstone a lot. Although I don't think we particularly need it here. Brimstone gives us two strength per turn, but all enemies also gain one strength per turn. It definitely could be better to just hold on to the mob bank here. Does it ever skip the shop? I think it could be. Brimstone definitely makes heart more challenging, although the way this deck is headed, I'm not too afraid. And then we could also remove a perfected strike if I did that. I like that. Let's do it. I'm strong now. So are you. I'm also spiky. Hmm. You have to stay weak. Thanks. Perfect. Nine by four. That's pretty spicy. Now we're talking, though. Get him, second wind. Perfect. Beautiful fight. We score a Molten Egg, upgrading any and all attacks we might add. And I'm thinking I'm going to take this power through, which adds two wounds to my hand, but 15 block immediately. Sounds good. That's right, Big Briane. We haven't we haven't beaten our uh haven't beaten a streak of eleven yet. Well, I haven't actually been playing that many runs. It's down uh down sick for a week. Did not play a lot. And a dad joke courtesy of Virtual Two Five Six. in here, actually. <laughs> Was it ever removed? Wait, do we have a clash? Oh, I do have a real clash. I thought that was a dead branch clash. Huh. My bad. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, that came from uh, Pandora's box. We didn't take that on purpose, the clash. It just seemed like it belonged. Why wasn't the Ironclad invited to the fashion party? Because his colors clashed. No refunds, Twitch chat. 
All right, Mr. Champ, if that is your real name. Prepare to get bonked pretty hard in the nose. Right in the nose, I say. Already have eight strength. This heavy blade already does 81 damage to your face. Seems like a good start. I'll just keep getting strength. Champ is also gaining strength, but not quickly enough to save his life. Definitely not. Bonk. And he's gone. Okay, Ancient Potion. We should carry this all the way to the heart, because it could make a big difference in the heart. Still no corruption, but I will take another Impervious. Now that we have the Brimstone, we absolutely want to invest heavily in our blocking plan, so that we have ways to survive all sorts of nonsense. As for our boss relic, now the Cursed Key shows up, with the Omomori still here. Seems like a no-brainer to me. Could take Slaver's Collar, but... He seems even better, arguably. Let's do it. So yeah, probably not going to use any potions this act. I don't think we'll need them, quite frankly. Seems quite unlikely. We've got healing happening. We've got a very strong deck happening. I am going to dip into this shop and remove one flash. Please and thank you. Should make this pretty easy. Dinky spikers. Probably need a disarm here. Flame Barrier Plus is good, but we need a way to remove strength from the heart, and disarm does a very good job of doing exactly that. Lang, thanks for 13 months. Hope my holidays are filled with carols of Silent Night and your cookies have no defects. Just be mindful of the big man clad in red because he is always watching. Happy holidays. He knows when you are sleeping. So don't piss him off. It's not quite a KO, huh? Hmm. That on top then. Bonk. Perfected her strike. This band. Yoink.
Juggernaut activating each time a card is exhausted is quite powerful. The, the Juggernaut Feel No Pain interaction, one of my favorites. Dead. Take another True Grit. With a plus. Blocks 10, exhausts a card in our hand. Seems good overall. Look at this double spiker, double repulsor. What an interesting set of uh, enemies here. Hey, Sketch, thanks for the five months of support. Am I going to play Neoverse? No. So Repulsor grow up to be a sentry? These are the important questions. Hmm, they are getting stronger over time. So am I. Fourteen damage, Spiker. Take one more Heavy Blade Plus. The whole Brimstone thing makes them pretty good. Ah, ah. I want a Dark Embrace. Not sure about that. Definitely want to remove Clash. As we went, Shepherath, we don't use any mods that change gameplay, so this should be essentially identical to. The vanilla gameplay experience. We are using a mod called Play the Relics, which means that you on stream, if you're watching on PC anyway, you can mouse over the relics on the screen and you'll get uh, tooltip descriptions of what they do. Yeah, with the exception of RNG Fix, which, which does technically change the gameplay, although not in a way that you would be able to tell by watching. Does doubling block count as gaining block for the purposes of Juggernaut? Yes, but not for the purposes of Panic Button. So you can still double block while under the effect of no block. Pretty cool. Don't want anything else at that shop. Poor Giant Head's about to have a really bad time. Really bad time. Hmm. Not good, actually. This could really hurt. Well, that makes it easy. I wanted that feel no pain, though. Whoops. Why are you still here? Headbutt, and then Havoc something on purpose. Destroyed. Simply destroyed. Dustbin Goblin with the two months of support. Thank you, thank you. And ESK Poa, thanks for the Prime sub and the seven months. Thanks for the content. Best Spire streamer around, they say. Heck yeah.
almost wants me to upgrade here. Although probably upgrading the other impervious is our better upgrade option. We're going to do that before we go into the boss fight. I'll recall now. I've got to open the chest. Hmm. Double tap the uppercut. Lots of vulnerable for you. Please and thank you. No statuses in the draw pile. I don't think I'm going to play fire breathing. Bonk. Reserved insect from Repto. Ain't too, too shabby, I suppose. Could take another boomerang here, or a boomerang, but with two heavy blade pluses, I feel like we don't need more strength scaling attacks than that. Just what we have will do just fine. Gotta get the blue key here. Omomori will protect us from the cursed key. We have all three keys required now to go to Act 4. Rebarricade. You love to see it. Disarming it. Double barricade. When one barricade isn't enough, try two. Adionia says, I just want to say thank you to Baylor. Been lurking in the stream and watching YouTube vids for a while and just got your first A20 heart kill as a result. Masterfully done. Two barricade, two furious. Coming to theaters near you. Ori! Okay, that'll help with the brimstone thing. If the heart attacks for five or less multi-attack, we just shut that whole thing down. Take another power throw, if it comes with an upgrade. And we have three more card rewards before the shop. First up, Transient. Can a deck with brimstone kill Transient? find out. I'm certainly going to try. This here, actually, yeah, I do. Order. Berserk seems really good in this fight, actually. This heavy blade does a hundred damage. Transients. 
totally destroyed. One more heavy blade for the road? Let's do it. And Larry Card with three months. Enjoy watching all my content, especially the Spire. Wonderful. What I like to hear. All right, I'll play one of them. Fine. Be that way. Ten juggernaut. Ten damage every time we block. Pretty awesome, actually. Better make it fifteen. Double ancient potion. Hmm. How's it going, Bojangles? Struggling with the other characters on A20. Is there any time you take three battles, one hit point? Yeah, I think it can work out well if you can get a, a one hit point elite in Act 1. I think it works out pretty well. Am I streaming it all next week? No. No, I'm not. Uh, I think it could also be good on Ironclad. That is uh, three one hit point combats. It could be good on Ironclad if you start with a bunch of events because a lot of those events can cost you health, and then the Burning Blood can heal that back. Which is often quite good. I don't like this enemy, so I'll play Offering. I think you missed the fight, sir. So many perfected strikes we could have had. All right. Ah, uh, we do get offered a duplication. We can Dolly's Mirror any card in this deck, and I'm thinking the Impervious Plus is a very good duplication target. There's also Exhum. You could buy Potion Belt to get more potions. So, for example, instead of duplicating the Impervious, we could buy the Potion Belt in a dupe pot and then just play the Impervious twice in the one fight where that's going to matter. Does Tori work on offering? No, it only works on attack damage, which is specifically enemies attacking you. Anything that comes from buffs or debuffs or your own cards won't be affected. I think I am just going to dupe the impervious. And then we'll keep just enough money to buy something in the final shop. Even if it's just remove hemokinesis. Should be perfectly fine by me. Now we have three impervious plus and a barricade. If that's not enough block to stop the brimstone heart, I don't know what is. I should also probably upgrade disarm for the heart. Give me all of the strength, please and thank you. Take that back, although I won't use it right now. Let's put it back on top for next turn. Disarm you. I've got another impervious. What is happening here? Good turn one. Really play that barricade. Oh well. Hmm. 
actually kind of bad draw. So we will take some damage here. Nothing too major, though, I assure you. Got uh, Pantograph healing us. It's a pretty good hit, though. And there we go. A bink bonk. GG. Next boss will be the Shapes Brothers, Donu and Dekka here. Probably don't get to last a lot longer than the previous boss did. I guess. Mm, don't delete Impervious. Let's take one here. Both of them will gain strength every turn, meaning they get nastier quite a bit faster than we're used to. Is that going to be enough to stop me? Absolutely not. Not playing Berserk, though. That's just crazy. Play this. Let's be block next turn. The man. The man with a plan to block for 182. What's up, Magistam? Thanks for the eight months of support. Yoink. Probably should have headbutt the entrench, actually. Heavy Blade just does so much damage. But I can't say no. Shapes have been squished. To thump, to thump, to thump, a deep pulsing dread can be felt out the room is this. The heart of the spire, the source. All these random cards at random costs. Deal 23, 33 damage. The heart squirms and bleeds, but is ultimately still pounding. Have I been here before? Missing a mere six hit points. We have Pantograph, and we'll heal five after the Elite, so I probably don't rest here. We should upgrade the Disarm so that we can remove another point of strength from the hearts. This could matter quite a bit. Can the old coin appear in a shop? No, it can't. All right, nothing spectacular here. Looks like I just remove a card, the Hemokinesis probably, or the other Perfected Strike. It's the other perfected strike. So we have 27 cards going into the end game here. Some very good ones. The triple impervious, the barricade. Of course, we've got dead branch, neko eye. I'd say we're in very good shape for the end game here. Although anything could happen with the runestone. It's definitely a good turn one. Team for energy. Probably want to bash the spear here. So we can be disarmed on this turn if we if we draw that, or uppercut, I suppose, is good too. Can headbutt second wind, and I'm super gonna do that. All right, you're dead, kid. it matters, though. We 
heal the full going into the heart. No problem. Get a bottled tornado and a blood potion. And one more true grit. So we can bottle the barricade, which I really like. Good catitude, cat mash here for month 64. Nintendo 64. Thank you for the incredibly long standing support. Do I think a relic that would let you hold more cards would be OP? I think there's something like that in one of the mod packs we've played with. It's not that good because most runs don't... don't get to draw that many cards. And the ones that do, you usually don't need it, right? Hmm. Ancient Pot Fairy feels better than the Blood Potion, so I'm going to leave the Blood Potion on the ground here. As we go to full health against the Brimstone Empowered Heart. Spooky. Very spooky. Let's just drink this now. Seems weak. Let's go bash Carnage. Deal some damage here. Against Heart with Brimstone, you really got to be aggressive with the damage output because, well, it's going to be a short fight whether you like it or not. Four by 15 up first. Here's the disarm, so we can shut this down, or we can let the Tori block a lot of it. Which would give us self-forming clay block next turn, right? Hmm. Alternately, if I play the disarm, goes to negative one strength, so that would be one by 15. Is that correct? Yes, one by 15, because it's a base of two. And then I still get a bunch of self-forming clay block, but it also doesn't have that strength next time. So we should probably play the disarm now. Maybe just disarm heavy blade. Get 45 block for free next turn. Austin Fuego with 43 months of support. So we want to take all this damage on purpose here. Don't play second wind, even though it would be quite a bit of block. Because we actually get more block from this. Forty-eight block from self-forming clay, enough to just completely stop this attack. That's a really good second wind. Ooh. Yes and yes. Yes and yes. Okay, that's gonna make Juggernaut very spicy once it's online. Juggernaut, hello? Are you there? Where is Juggernaut? We never played it, I see. Concerning. Like that. Now it's 6 by 15. Next multi-hit's gonna be even deadlier. Thankfully we can at least stop this one. Knew I should have played that rupture. You have to die. turn could be another multi-attack, though. We really have to put a stop to this soon. Oof, these expenses. We can do Heavy Blade Juggernaut second win. We must. Simply must. Getting it below 200 is essential here, so that we can kill it if necessary. 
If this was a multi-attack, it would be 11 times 15. Thankfully, it's not. So we save the day. GG. GG. A spectacular victory. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And don't forget to follow on Twitch to watch the content live. Click the link in the description below.